Oh! What the heck, dude? Let's go! Oh my- Dude, it can't get better. It literally cannot get any better than this. And we are back, baby. Let's go. Another day, another episode. We're in the Diamond House World, episode four. Last time, we got a lot of progress made. We got tons of diamonds. Or how many diamonds did we actually get? We got two blocks. We got our first two blocks of diamonds. I'm super, super excited for this episode, guys, because this episode, I don't know if it's gonna be as long. Let me know if you guys liked the length of the last two, because those were like almost half an hour long each. Let me know if you liked the length of those because I could do them that long or I could do them shorter because the first one I did was about 15 minutes so just again let me know what you thought and what you prefer because I'm capable of doing either one so just up to you guys at this point this episode I would love to dedicate it to mining I have three iron picks and my fortune three pickaxe and I just feel like there's only one thing I need to do today and that is get as many diamonds as possible. I've been saying this the last couple episodes. My goal is to get as many diamonds as possible. But I'm talking for real this time. The goal for this episode specifically. Do nothing else but get as many diamonds as possible. So without any more further ado. I guys, I'm literally just going to go straight in. I'm going to start mining. Strip mining. Predominantly strip mining. Unless I can get some really good caves. But I'm going to predominantly be strip mining today. Because it's just, it's just so much easier to get diamonds and such. Even though it's technically all the same odds. It's just like you're going directly for it. Plus you get extra stone and stuff for projects down the road. Okay. So at level, we were at level six whenever we got our first diamonds, right? So we have all of this digging, all digging out. So we have all this dug out. I would like to do the same situation, but kind of at a different, like, I'm probably gonna go like, just like this direction. Really. And I would like to have that other diamond pick. I don't remember what I did with it. I don't even remember if I still have it or not, to be honest. Getting a little redstone action up in here. First things first. Should I do fortune? I think I'll save the fortune for diamonds. Cause let's be real here. You'll get fortune on redstone, regardless if you use fortune or not, which I don't know why they don't have to, they have to give you so much, but it's just, Hey, it is what it is. If you're really into redstone and stuff, perfect for you. Whoa. I fell in a hole. Got a little bit of copper. We found a heck ton of copper last episode. Hopefully I can get some more this time. I want to use it to decorate. Excuse me, sir. Please. That's rude. Whoa, bruh. That's whack. That is kind of whack, man. Whoa. There's a lot of lava down here. I think I might abort mission. And by that, I mean just go a different direction. Got a little bit more redstone. Not bad. Be nice if I could get some more diamonds. Now, I did research last episode and tried to find what the best level for diamonds was. And I found that it was level six, but I'm also under the impression that nowadays it's literally just the lower you are, the better odds you have for finding diamonds. I might want to see and test the waters like, you know, five and below. Maybe. We'll see how that works out, I would think. Hopefully it actually does. Oh. And we're in on the next strip mine. Cool. I'm gonna kind of just just start going in random directions and just cutting around and seeing what we can find. Got a little bit of iron. I like some iron. Iron. Wait, what am I doing? I have fortune. I can use this on my iron. I need I need to get as much iron as I can just because it's good. Right. Good thing I good thing I remember that because I need lots of iron. I'm too used to the old days whenever it was just regular old pickaxe on the iron. Got some lapis, not bad. And we're still on the hunt for our first diamond. Oh, I think I might actually fortune this lapis just to get plenty, plenty of it. Lots of XP too. Already got a stack and a half from one freaking vein. That was insane, dude. I might look into kidnapping a villager and loading him over to my base, to my island. That way I can get a librarian to get a mending book. I think that would be really good. I would, I would really need that to happen because I'm gonna have enchanted picks out the wazoo. And I'm gonna need mending on all my stuff. Mending, mending is just too good, dude. Through that dirt patch, I gotta go back on my up some redstone bop, 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 bop. and no diamonds oh well we shall carry on uh oh it's our best friend it's our best friend get out of here best friend oh wait okay here we go oh we got some gold i'm gonna fortune this gold yes 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 lots of gold was that six vein got 11 we love to see it what i gotta do is i gotta get my fortune pick warmed up that way once i get to the diamonds it's gonna be the best the best possible odds i hear some lava bubbling in the distance hopefully we're not gonna run into it got some more redstone nice oh speaking of lava good grief all right this is a good sign to turn Turn. But first, redstone. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? It's all right. We're still early in the episode, and we gotta. We haven't gotten quite in our groove yet. We gotta get in the right groove, and we gotta just get it, get it going. Good gravy. We're finding tons of redstone today. If I ever want to make a big redstone build, I'll know. I'll have enough resources for it got some coal very good get the fortune on this bad boy that way i don't have to get as much coal in the future i don't remember if i actually established this rule last episode but a thought i was having was every time i have the ability to make a diamond block i need to make the diamond block and not like break it back down once it's a diamond block and once it's in block form it's gonna stay in block form also i was talking to tesla death ray guy guys in the discord server stream with him um i was talking to tesla and we decided that the house size that 
that I need to make is like, you know, in the building tutorial, like the book or whatever, they have that starter house kind of thing where it's like a, like a big house with a porch and windows and stuff. Well, that's kind of what we thought would be best for the diamond house. So it's, you know, not super easy, but it's not super hard. It's like right in the middle. I need a sizable amount of blocks, but nothing too crazy. And I mean, obviously it is going to take quite a while to get all the diamond blocks regardless, but that just kind of gives us something to kind of shoot for. And if I can remember, I'll have it up on the screen right, right here and to, so you guys can get a look at it and see what I'm talking about. But this house, I'm going to have it, but not wood, completely diamond. Getting some of that copper, some of that gold. Love to see it. I could use some diamonds anytime. And the copper, I'm not going to use fortune on just because I already get a bunch of it from these blocks and I don't really have an, like a huge use for it yet. So I'm not really going to go crazy for getting copper until I'm like really needing copper because it's one of those things. It's always easy to find. If I need it, it's always easy to find. Coal and iron all in the same vein. What? Let's go. My fortune pick is having a field day right now. Imagine if fortune let you get multiple pieces of cobblestone per block. That would be an absolute cheat code. All right, I'm on my last iron pick. Now I have a thought for this one. What I want to do, I'm going to go back and start digging off little tiny strip mines on the sides of this one. So we can have sub strip mines. So like, I'll just go bam, like dig off just a few blocks and we'll do that like every other, every third block or so. Now I'm pretty sure doing it this way is like the best chance of uncovering diamonds with the least amount of blocks mined, I think. Or at least you, you can cover a bigger area and not have to worry about digging side by side and hitting the same thing twice and stuff but already we are getting a little bit of iron out of this which is not a bad thing get some of that raw iron yes sir i want to get an efficiency four pick that isn't my fortune pick so i can use its durability all up on just mining blocks i think once i hit level 30 that's something i'm gonna do is get me another pick that's just efficiency and unbreaking or just a spare pickaxe at the very least because iron picks man they're going out of style i'm just about sick and tired of how slow this thing is all right some more iron good deal good deal oh yeah i love the deep slate ores those are so cool all right all right next thing up Oh yeah, let's go baby. Got some diamonds, heck yes. See, this is a good strat. This is a good strat for strip mining. I highly recommend it because it just so totally increases your odds and, oh nope, not an eight vein, unless it could still be an eight vein. It's not an eight vein. There's no way it's an eight vein. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start up. We'll, we'll just dig all these up and then, hey, level 32, good timing, good timing. Eight diamonds from, what was that, like four I mined or something? Four or five? Not bad, not bad. And we're up to level 30. So I think with that, I can go and do my, um, my little pickaxe enchantment. Now that I have some extra diamonds on me, now that I have all these extra diamonds on me, it'll actually be more worth it to do this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to enchant a second pickaxe. And then I'm going to come back down and literally just continue to do the same thing. Because it's this is obviously working. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's that's the saying here. i going to go back really, really far though. Goodness. Ah, all right, it's even daytime out here. Look at this. This is beautiful. All right, I have to actually make the pickaxe first. I have, I don't have any sticks. Never mind. Looks like we've loaded up on some stuff. We got plenty of lapis. I'm going to go ahead and put some coal in here too. Because why not? We have it now. We have some extra. Um, Furnace time. Just going to flip these out exchange them copper ingot let's go more copper and put this copper in there too why not uh, i think that oh never mind never mind how much extra do we have oh let's go dude shoot lots of look at this look at all this bro we're already stacking it up shoot all right 19 20, 20 23 and um two blocks so while we're here may as well make some more blocks gonna make blocks i'm gonna condense a bunch of stuff make blocks of redstone bam bam make blocks of copper Ooh, block of copper looks snazzy i'm gonna i'm gonna work with this I'm gonna make some of these bad boys but then the real deal what we're doing 18 means two more blocks of diamonds baby and now i'm actually gonna take oh i have this i can re-enchant this pickaxe i forgot i had this one cool one, two three and um yeah i think that's all i gotta do i could get one more level and enchant it twice if need be but i don't really feel the need silk touch is there oh my god it's just silk touch again it's literally just how are you so bad? Literally, how is that? How? I don't understand how it could be that bad. I, I just don't get it. Literally, I, this same exact thing happened last time. Maybe they've, maybe they, maybe they, uh, maybe they nerfed the enchantments in the last update. I don't know, but that's absolutely insane. I don't understand how it's just, how it could be so bad. Do I have any wheat to breed up my animals? Oh, I have a whole bunch. Wow. Hey there, friends. Hey there, friends. Bye. You know, it would be nice if after you've bred the animals, they won't chase you anymore. Then you could really tell how much you had left to do. All right, XP, get over here, man. Now, I will take this other diamond pickaxe that way i can do a little bit more strip mining but once i hit level 30 again i'm gonna come back up actually i would like to see what the next enchantment is going to be what is it gonna be unbreak it okay i like that i like that so i'm gonna get level 30 come back and we're gonna enchant once again you know while i'm on my way down to the mine this time i'm gonna take out some of this ceiling so it's a little bit easier to run down quicker 
There we go, perfect. That's a lot better. All right, back to the strip mine. And you know, I was just thinking about it, and it would make sense that they that they nerf the enchantments because you gotta think about it. Because if you can if you can get multi if you can get gold and iron with fortune now, you know fortune's gonna be a lot more valuable. So you would have to do something to kind of keep it at bay because at that point it'd be so much easier to get iron that like any other conventional way of getting iron would basically be obsolete because you could just mine it. But there also is just the satisfaction of building an iron farm and stuff. So I don't know how much of an effect all this actually had to have on it but that was just kind of a thought that crossed through my head like maybe just maybe that was that had something to do with it oh yeah baby let's go we got some diamonds heck yeah love a good diamond how many we got here two two three four a a just four i'll take just four i mean four is better than none at the end of the day all this gravel is definitely annoying all right i'll take a four vein all right one two three four yeah i mean we end up with ten let's go all right make sure there's none underneath here sneaking around not nah, we're good all right baby continuing on the journey we got our first bit of redstone in this little strip mine session late but always welcome Especially if it's going to help me get up to level 30. Which that would be great timing if I could just get some diamonds and dip. Just like one more vein of just about anything that gives XP would do the trick. Alright, redstone and level 30. Baby, let's go. I'm going to finish mining this bit out and then we're going to go back up and enchant our second pickaxe. It's going to have at least unbreaking 3 on it, which will be very, very good. And then I think our strip mining efforts will get a lot quicker. Look at how many strip mines I end up making. That's a ton, dude. Holy crap. Good work. And let's see how much we got. We got 10 diamonds, 57 redstone dust, and 46 iron. Or the raw iron, sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. Up this way. And we got another block worth of diamonds, too. I didn't even think about that. Let's go. Wonder how many blocks of diamonds we can end up getting in this episode. Uh oh, we have pillagers outside. Oh, not good. Hmm. Guess we gotta fight them off. Oh, he's right there. Oh, well, I have milk. Let me sleep. All right, we good. We good. I need, I need, I need milk. Get rid of this bad omen. Thank you. All right, time for enchantments. Let's take this, take this, put those up there for right now. Get this thing enchanted, baby. Bam, bam, bam. I'm breaking three. Fortune two, efficiency four. Okay. I don't really need a fortune two on this, but I will definitely take it. I just have to remember the fortune three is the ones I gotta mine my good stuff with, not my fortune two, because I don't wanna, I wanna maximize as much as diamonds as possible. And with that, another block of diamonds in the books, baby. All right, five blocks. We've gotten three today. Super awesome indeed. Time to throw some more of this. Uh, uh, iron in the furnace. That's it. Yeah, I just gotta, gotta fish the rest of it out here. Ingot, copper, perfect. More iron, more copper blocks. All right, I guess that means we're uh, back in action, baby. All right, so the first pick is the mining pick. Second pick is the un uh, is the uh, diamond pick, basically. So we are about to get stuff done a heck of a lot faster. This away. Got a whole bunch of strip mines in here already. Very nice indeed. And once I hit this right turn, we're gonna start working on this next stretch of strip mines. Have not gone this way yet, but I think this is all just, uh... Oh, this is so much better. Wow. Also, I forgot to make a shovel, which is kind of annoying. Oh, well. I guess I'll live with it. I'll just avoid the dirt if I have to. Next up. Whoa. These cave sounds are creepy, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Got some diamonds, baby. Heck yeah. Yes. All right, this is an interesting vein, too. It looks kind of funky. All right, baby, let's see what we've got here. How many are we going to end up with? Just three? I mean, I'll take three if I have to, but, like, good grief. Got to at least dig around a bit, see what we got. Got some resting up there. Not bad. Okay, so we, we got six out of that three vein. That's not terrible at all. A little bit of extra iron, too. Shoot. Woo! All right, baby. Nice job. We got some more diamonds. Six more diamonds. I think that's enough for another block. Because <laughs> we've got five or six back at the house. Let's go. All right, now, at this point, I can just continue to keep digging my main strip mine, because I've gotten... I've dug up all the sides all the way up until here. That's crazy. Crazy. Now it's time to just go and get some diamonds, baby. Should have made a shovel. Oh my god, this is painful. Alright, so I have reached the end. And by the end, I mean this patch of lava. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep digging, do my little side strip mine things and go all the way back. Once I get back to the end, whatever we have then is the end. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. More diamonds. Heck yes. So, so one, two, three. Do I do I hear four? Ah, I hear four. Let's go. Do I hear five? Probably not. It's it's too close to bedrock for there to be five. All right, baby. Now I do know we gotta be careful because there's lava like right there. I'll show you. It's like literally like right here. Yeah, it's right there. So we need to be extra extra careful. All right, I already have some. So oh, it is a five. Or was it a six? One two three one two. I think it was a six fan. I cannot be sure, but oh yeah, we got ten. Let's get it. I think we got ten. We had six, I believe. But either way, we got a bunch of diamonds. Let's go. More diamond. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but 
whenever um this you hear this lava this oh my god i'm not sure if you guys can hear it or not but this lava sounds like that sound that your stomach makes whenever you're like maybe you just ate a bunch of food or something Ooh, what do we have here a little underwater cave adventure interesting i'm curious what do we have probably nothing and it's probably gonna lead me to death so let's just avoid it although i do need to block all this off because this water is a nuisance a lot of lava through here i've been hitting lava like every freaking block i mine so hopefully i can get out of this little area and get back to finding diamonds oh see look at that more lava what the heck dude goodness that's annoying like we're in the nether or something my gosh oh look at that more lava what do you know gosh and then there's gravel which is probably a million times worse than lava what is this are you kidding i'm just ditching this area dude so much lava it's so annoying i hate lava oh yes let's go i mined a couple blocks extra and i got some diamonds let's get it what are we at here is that that's four i can see immediately we see eight. Oh, i think it's an eight vein either that or a six. Oh, it's an eight let's go heck yes hopefully there's no lava above there all right we have 16 right now what do we end up with all right nice little eight vein let's go 34 let's get it okay so that's what did that bring me up to oh that was 16 so i got i got 18 from that so wow okay good good all right i like that i like that a lot oh lava what do you know if anything this lava is just free torches Take some that extra xp too so i can uh, uh so i can enchant more stuff later on you heckin serious with me right now bro oh what the heck dude let's go oh my dude it can't get better it literally cannot get any better than this i've just been like mining extra like two extra blocks on each one and then boom we're getting more that's so amazing let's freaking go this one might just be a four vein which i'm totally okay with oh as i say that i get proven incorrect we got a six vein yeah okay i have 34 now what do i end up with 34 yeah okay. and now we have 47 so i got 13 let's go bro okay that's the cheat code man gotta just mine like seven or eight blocks instead of five see if it holds true imagine if i found diamonds like right now that'd be so crazy dude so we're almost up to our first actual stack of diamonds which is insane all right so i'm officially out of torches so i mean i think i'm probably gonna be done because i've got 47 diamonds that's a lot of it's a lot of diamonds. diamond blocks i've got 40 or i've got about five five more i believe plus two extra diamonds i think it's what it is my math could be horribly wrong but i think it's about five more blocks now i just gotta do the chore of getting all the way back there without getting stuck in all these doorways it is dark again as i reach the surface so quickly go to sleep all right a little bit of a recap for the mining session how many diamonds we end up with 49 a total of 53 let's take them in here take them in here make them into blocks five blocks perfect the blocks up in there we got a total of 10 blocks amazing stuff good work today now we also have a crap ton of redstone let's make all this into blocks right quick we've got some more smelting to do so let's grab some of this iron out of here put some of that there 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 and oh yeah one more put some of that there perfect let's go what the heck enderman come on boy fight me fight me bro yeah that's right come here he's scared me come on he's gonna he's gonna lose he's gonna lose ready ah one more hit or two another one or two. Oh, come on i lost my high ground i lost the high ground Ah, let's go. I got him. <laughs> ender pearl. First ender pearl of the, of the world. Nice, nice. I also need a shovel before I forget. So I'm actually going to do, going to make a shovel and an axe. Oh, and a sword. Double axe, sword. And that's going to be it. I have two diamonds to spare. That's fine with me. I want to check and see which ones will provide the best as far as enchantments go. All right, so shovel, unbreaking three, an axe, efficiency four and a diamond sword knock back too i would say i would say a shovel's the move right now especially when i'm looking for diamonds for mining you know but i have multiple enchants worth so i'm gonna do this perfect and we look at the axe again on breaking three i like it and then smite four not terrible let me take a look at this as well fortune three another fortune three i could take a backup i don't have enough diamonds for that so i could unenchant this one too but eh, that's not worth it so let's do unbreaking three on the axe oh my god Gosh, what the heck? <laughs> Unbreaking three, fortune two, bane of arthropods four. That's weird. All I know is I'm gonna be slaying some spiders with this thing. Good grief. Fortune three is still on the pickaxe too, so that's good. Knock back on the sword. I'm not entirely happy with this, but I don't know. We'll take it over to the old farm and see how it goes. It is efficient indeed. That is not deniable. This is indeed an efficient axe. Even though it's only efficiency three, it is still very efficient. Also, my shovel is doing, it's, it's a good shovel. I like that shovel quite a bit actually. All right, so I think next episode, we're gonna focus on this little guy we're gonna get ourselves to the nether that way i can just explore 
look for some netherite because I would like to upgrade my stuff. I also want to find a villager and bring him over to the island and make him into a librarian. Now, that's going to be actually quite the hefty task because crap's hard, dude. Villagers are tough to deal with. They're a pain in the butt. So I think that'll be that'll be tough. And I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to try and see if I can get more than one villager. That would make them two. Breed them. Have infinite librarians. Have all of villager stuff set up. That way I can get all these enchantments for my, for my gear and stuff. That's all I had planned for today. So I hope you all did enjoy this episode of the Diamond House series. We got quite a bit of progress. We actually went and we did a ton of mining. Look at this. 10 blocks of diamonds is what I've accumulated today. So that's, that's equivalent of 90 diamonds. That's over a stack and a half in diamonds. That is insane. Either way, that's besides the point. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. Comment down below your thoughts. If you want to see certain builds, certain projects done, certain, certain methods of mining. Just anything you want to see on the videos, let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Without further ado, guys, this has been Gary the Bear. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all again next time.